Well, George, do you know yet if you're captaining your first match at home, and if not, how? What's the condition of the uh, full-time skipper? Yeah, not not sure um, if I will be. He's uh, he's just heading off for a scan now, so hopefully that's all clear. He'll um, obviously be given right up until the toss tomorrow to prove that he's he's right to go. So hopefully that scan's clear, and um, there'll obviously be a little bit of pain. But um, if 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 he's 100%, he'll play. And because uh, we weren't uh, on time enough to see it actually happen live, like did it look sort of severe at the time? Not sure. I was I was running in the opposite direction, so not not sure. Was it was it soccer or fielding or? Yeah, just uh, a pretty regulation fielding warm up drill. Yeah, no, doesn't I don't think there was much in it. I'm not even sure how it, how it happened. Yeah. Will you fly someone in as a specialist batsman because you haven't got one extra in the team, or will you go with just what you got? Uh, once again, I'm not entirely sure what they'll do there. I haven't been privy. I'm no doubt the selectors um, will sort all that out, and um, and, and Michael and, and Mickey will sort all that out. But um, you know, I think hopefully that scan comes back clear, and, and you know, best case scenario, Pop still plays. Are you okay? Um, nasty one from Mitch in the nets there. Yeah, it's not much fun facing Mitch. No, either of the Mitches in the nets. Um, so um, yeah, no, that's that's fine. That's just. Um, it just gets the heart going a little bit facing those guys. I always, well, the way I g myself up for it is that if you can get through those guys in the nets, and hopefully anything you face in the middle should be, should be um, hopefully a little easier. <laughs> the Channel Nine guys have been fascinated with your wrist injury. Was it the same hand or same? Yeah, it's just that top hand. It just jars every now and then if it gets it gets it in the right spot. I actually think it's an injury that's helping my batting. So it can, um, as long as it doesn't get too painful, it can hang around for a little bit. How can it help your batting? Uh, mate, it's, it's, it only hurts when I lose my, my top hand, so obviously top hand uh, very important um, with the bat. So if I can if I keep it strong and firm, then I seem to hit the ball a little bit cleaner. And if Clark doesn't play, will you captain or would it be David Warner? Uh, I believe I will. I think I will. Yeah, but um, but once again, I guess that all depends. That's up up to the selectors to make that that final decision. You just mentioned Mitch Johnson before. Do you think that's sort of been one of the I guess less stated? Um, you know, developments of the summer, the way he's come back really so strongly. You've seen that even in the past few one days. Um, well, I mean, I don't. I'm not privy to what he's been working on, what he's done differently. I've never enjoyed facing him in the nets, whether he's been um, performing internationally or not. But so I, I certainly think he's in a really good place uh, mentally, uh, physically. He's obviously a bit of an animal, so um, it's great to see him bowling well. You know, I thought he bowled really well in Brisbane the other the other day. Um, it would have been nice to have a few more runs on the on the board for him so we can really unleash it, and hopefully that's the case tomorrow. First game at home, a special occasion? Yeah, it will be. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, and, and plenty on the line too. Nice to, it'd be nice to salvage this series, um, escape with a, with a two-all, get it back to level pegging. Um, so, yeah, it's, there's, there's a lot on the line. Not not the way we'd like it. You know, it would have been nice to be down here playing for a victory, but um, for a series victory, but anyway. Clark aside, do you know if there are any other changes forecast at this change at this stage? I'm uh, not sure. I wouldn't wouldn't imagine there'd be too many. Considering you know the batting struggles the teams had in the past two matches, does it put more pressure on if you have to replace obviously Clark with probably Maxwell, who's sort of like a batting all rounder? I think if you're replacing Michael Clark with anyone, you, you, mm. it's um, it's a it's a step down, and that's not not a, no disrespect to whoever's going to replace him or you know it needs to mm. replace him, but. Um, he's obviously an outstanding player. So whenever you're losing one, the experience, two, the calibre of player, it's 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 a challenge, um, which hopefully guys you know step up step up into, and that's what that's what we're hoping, and that's what we've we've mm. lacked in the last couple of games is someone stepping up to, as an individual, um, even in a batting partnership, to to fill the the gaps that um, you know Mike Hussey leaving, uh, Ricky Ponting leaving that side has has created. Um, but with that comes. Huge response, uh, huge opportunity, and that's that's the word that we keep using, and that's um, and that is still there. And I think if the group can, individuals within the group can stand up, um, particularly at the top of the order, and just settle the change rooms down, get a good partnership going, and you know, I think you can see we saw in Melbourne how well um, the guys can bat. And on Kula Saker's last visit here, he was pretty ineffective in the test. But what has it been about him in the past couple of games that's made him so effective with the white ball? Uh, I think he's been very accurate, uh, and he swung the ball nicely. And that's you know, there's an art to that in itself. In when the ball is swinging, to still have the control to land it exactly where you want. And there's no doubt that he's bowling very, very well and putting the ball um, almost exactly where he wants it um, more times than not. So he's, he's 
the challenge for us is to, to combat that and whether that's doing something different as a batsman or uh, being a little sharper with your feet, um, putting him off his game, whatever it might be, hoping he has a bit more of an off day. Uh, but there's no doubt that he's, he's at the top of his game at the moment. A couple of high-scoring um, ODIs down here last summer. Have you had a look at the, the pitch and what can you tell us about it? I haven't had a look at it, but um, generally this year it's been a little slower, I think, than what it has, has played in, in previous years. Um, so not sure whether it will be um, some of the you know the big chases that we did see last summer. But having said that, I, I think generally here the one day wickets are pretty good. So um, I'll probably pop out and have a look um, after this and, and see what it's like. But you know I think that outfields the outfields popped up really well from being relayed earlier this year. So that's looking really good and fast. Um, so I'm, I'm expecting a, a reasonably high scoring game. Considering the way the team went with your first match in charge in Melbourne at the start of the series, can you sort of fathom that you're here needing to get a win to salvage a series draw? Well, I think that's, for me, that's the challenge of international cricket and that's been the probably the biggest step up I've found and I'm sure other guys find it the same, is that uh, that intensity of a series and knowing that you, you play, you have a day off, you play, you, you, you travel, it's, it's non-stop and um, the change from domestically is, you know, you might play a good side once, Twice a year, um, and you know, once here and once somewhere else. Whereas, you know, you're coming up against world-class players day in, day out here, and that challenge doesn't go away. And particularly someone like Sri Lanka, who have such a great one-day record, um, I don't think we were expecting anything, you know, anything other than what they've produced. Um, unfortunately, we we haven't quite played the cricket that we'd like to be playing as consistently as we'd like, but. Um, the one positive is that we know we can bat as well as we did in, in Melbourne. Uh, the challenge is to get back there and to do it more often. So, the uh, day before, uh, uh, Sydney crowd was uh, uh, excited then. Uh, I think uh, uh, for tomorrow's match, uh, uh, high expectation would be more pressure for you. For the team? Yeah. Uh, well, my thinking on that is that I think when you play for the Australian cricket team, there's always expectation. The expectation is that we will be the best team in the world, and that's if we're not there, then that's what we're working to be. So as soon as you come into the team, there's expectation, um, and there's expectation that we're going to be very, very hard to beat when we play series in Australia as well. So the challenge is certainly there, and Sri Lanka have played some really good cricket. Uh, whether, we, whether we're blooding some new players or, or not, um, I don't think that, that changes, and players know that. Um, balancing off the expectation, as I said, is, is the opportunity to make sure you come in and grab, grab the chance you get with both hands, um, nail down a spot and let everyone know that you, know, that you can play the game. After the poor press we got um, regarding the crowd during the test, do you expect a few people to come out tomorrow? Certainly hope so. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's been some good cricket played. It hasn't been our best cricket, but I think there's still been some intriguing battles going on. So. Um, I haven't seen the weather forecast. That seems to play a little bit of a part here in terms of crowds. But if the weather is good, I'd, I'd like to I'd like to think that Tasmanians will come out and um, and you know and deck the place out because there's a lot of places around the country that really do enjoy their cricket. Um, and there's no doubt that that seeing it live um, is something special. And you, know, you mentioned that Sydney crowd the other night; they were they were having a great time. It was like the world's biggest outdoor disco there for a little while. So um, you know, hopefully the the cricket can reflect that as well. Plenty of talkers. There always is about the performance of the top order. Are you feeling the pressure personally, I suppose, in that top four, trying to improve what so far has been, apart from the first match, a disappointing series for the batsmen? Yeah, yeah, well, as I said, I think there is always pressure and uh, I don't think I'll ever feel comfortable um, in the Australian cricket team as, a, you know, like I've you know, scored enough runs, I'm, I've, you know, I've of my place here, or, you know, I feel really comfortable here. So it's something that I, I feel like it doesn't really change from game to game. Um, so that that is always there. Absolutely, I think. You know, as I said, the expectation is that we should be winning this series and we should be um, pushing for the number one spot in the world as a, as a team. So the challenge is for the top four, whether you played one game, a hundred games, whatever it might be, um, is to be performing. And uh, particularly with the two new balls, the challenge for us is to make sure that we do weather, weather those, uh, the new ball. If it is swinging and seeming a little bit early, if it does happen to be a good, good batting wicket, then hopefully you make the most of that as well. But uh, the challenge is for the top four to make sure we're, we're doing the bulk of the run scoring and batting the majority of the time. Uh, and that, that's our role, um, once again, whether it's your first or 100th game. Well, you 
I think it's a challenge. I think facing good spins a challenge. Um, I think that's I think that's cricket in a in a nutshell. I think always you know the swinging ball is what bowlers try and produce because that's the hardest ball to play as a as a as a batsman. Um, so I think that's that's always going to be the the type of bowling that will challenge batters. Absolutely.